Hello everyone, my name is Priya Patel and I am the Physician Assistant here at Tustin Longevity Center and today I want to talk to you guys about the importance of iodine. So iodine is a trace element that is found naturally occurring in our environment, mainly in seawater and in the ocean. And it is an essential mineral, meaning our bodies require iodine to function properly because we use iodine to make our thyroid hormones. And the thyroid hormones are very important in our overall metabolic function. I did do another video on thyroid function and how we test for it. So if you want to learn more, you can check that out. It's already on YouTube. But pretty much, um, we have two primary thyroid hormones, T3 and T4, and we need iodine to make those hormones. We need three atoms of iodine to make T3 and four atoms to make T4. So it makes sense there. Um, iodine is also a powerful antioxidant and it is used in our bodies in other tissues as well to help decrease the amount of dense fibrous tissue there may be. So um, it is used by our breast tissue, our ovaries, uterine, and for men in their prostates. It is also important for um, young infants and children to have plenty of iodine for their growth and development and for the developing fetal brain as well. So if you are pregnant or planning to conceive, it is important to optimize your iodine levels and your thyroid health as well. And most of us these days are iodine deficient, which is why I'm doing this video. I wanna make everyone aware about what iodine is and where we can get it from. So in our diets, we're lacking iodine because we don't eat a lot of seaweed, which is where um, iodine is predominantly concentrated. So as I mentioned earlier, it's found naturally occurring in our oceans and our seawater. And so seaweed is um, concentrated, highly concentrated with iodine, and also you'll find it in other seafoods as well. And we do have iodized salt, um, and they did that long ago to pretty much allow everyone to get iodine in their diet and hit the minimum daily requirements or the RDA, um, it's not enough iodine, unfortunately. So we are finding that most of our patients are iodine deficient and they're going to need, a, you know, um, both boost it up in your diet and also possibly take a supplement for it. So um, the other thing is too, that a lot of us are being exposed to pollutants and environmental toxins and those things all actually block the use of iodine in our body. So we have, um, if you think about the halogens that are on the periodic table of elements, that's what, what iodine is, it's, an, it's a halogen. So um, the other halogens that are in that column actually block iodine in our body. Those include chlorine, fluorine, and bromine. Chlorine and fluorine are found in your, our drinking water, so it's important to drink filtered water. You'll find fluorine in your fluoride toothpaste, so best to eliminate that, and um, chlorine in like swimming pools, pool water, among other things. And then bromine is used as an anti-caking agent in bakery items, so best to avoid processed foods. Um, but pretty much these things in our environments actually block the use of iodine in our body, so it's important to eliminate some of these exposures that we may have. So all in all, you want to increase the amount of iodine in your body either th um, and through diet and or supplementation and decrease the amount of environmental exposures to those halogens, chlorine, fluorine, and bromine particularly, that are going to block the iodine in the body. Um, and then the other thing is we can test for iodine deficiency using a urine collection kit. That is the best way to test for it. You'll take a loading dose of iodine through a supplement um, and then we'll ask you to collect your urine for 24 hours and based on the excretion rate that we find, we can determine if you are iodine deficient or not. And we will go from there. So if there's any questions about, about any of this, let your clinician know here at TLC and we'll be happy to help you out. But that's a little bit on iodine. Hope that helps.